Now first we're going to set up Photoshop to have a custom layout for our UI that's going to help our user experience to support the workflow for the types of work we're going to be doing. And by doing this, what we're going to do is reduce um, redundancy. We're going to reduce clicks. We're going to reduce um, the choices that our brain has to make while we're working on files. And that's going to reduce redundancy. And that's going to allow us to work quicker and smoother and more fluidly. So let's go ahead and set up our custom UI layout. First of all, this learn panel, close it. We don't need it because we're going to learn in this class and we don't need that panel open. We don't need libraries open. Now, one of the biggest time savers in Photoshop and the UI is basically moving the toolbar to your dominant side. It seems pretty straightforward, but what this does is reduce one decision that your brain has to make. Sometimes tools are on the left, sometimes tools are on the right. And if you don't know how the, the hotkeys, then it's like, oh, sometimes I'm going to the left or sometimes I'm going to the right. And what we're doing is reducing that. So now when you train your brain, everything is on the right side or everything is going to be on the left side. So that way it's one less thing that your brain has to think about and a decision that it has to make. Now our history, we don't need that because the undo will do that for us. Gradients, we're not going to have open right now. Patterns, we're not going to have open right now. And swatches either. Now, the important parts of things that we need are color, obviously our layers, our channels, and our paths. So let's take those out. And rulers and grids, while those are very useful, and guides are very useful, and quick actions are useful, we don't really need them. Oh, it looks like they're kind of part of properties now, which they've changed that. So definitely want our properties, definitely want our color, definitely want our layers. So let's go ahead and grab this grouping and let's bring it to the other side here. Now, when you mouse over any part inside Photoshop and we're moving things around, you'll see this blue line. And that means that's the location where you're going to put it. And when you let go, it's going to shift it over there. Now with our properties, we're going to do our layers. And then we're going to bring our properties underneath that, like this. So now this is going to help our brain. We're like, hey, we're working on a layer. And because properties are part of layers and adjustment layers and different settings inside the layer panel, we can just quickly go down and alter our properties and back and forth between these layers and then get back to work on our canvas. Now, another thing that's very useful to have is the info panel. So let's go under window and info. Now there's one thing to keep in mind here, and that's if you ever lose a panel or close it or something, you don't need to worry about it. It's all under window. Every single panel that is in Photoshop is under window. So let's grab info. Let's put this on the bottom here. And then we have our layers, our properties, and our info. Very informational, got everything here. The other part here is we've got color. So one thing about color is actually we'll get that in one second. Let's go to windows and let's go to tool presets and bring that down here. And then also our actions. And we don't need history again. So let's bring our actions and let's kind of put them here and we got to adjust these accordingly. Now, whenever you mouse over in between the medians of the panels, you can drag their sizes. And I know this might seem small for layers, but what this is going to do in the long run is train us to use less layers because we don't want to scroll. So it'll just kind of happen naturally. So for the color now, each one of these panels has a little sandwich menu in the corner. So we're going to do the color wheel though. And so the color wheel will give us a nice little color wheel that they kind of ripped off from Painter and Coolerus and um, all the other color ones that now Adobe has put it in. We can quickly grab your colors, it's very nice. And then we have our actions, our tool presets that we're gonna use, our layers, channels and paths, down to our properties and info. So now we could fluidly work through our UI and have a nice fluid experience. Work on our image, go to our color, our layers, our properties, any of the actions, and then back to our canvas.